So to get the derivative of z in the x direction, on kind of two things when doing implicit differentiation. We have to focus on this variable z. We have to be very careful with that one. And then the variable that we're taking derivatives in terms of. Okay. For all intents and purposes, y is constant. We can just ignore y. It's not going to affect it. take the derivative of z, and the cost of that derivative in z is a z sub x. Actually, twos. These are not the partial derivative symbol. Okay. Questions there? Comments there? About that partial derivative? Because, uh, right, when we're taking this kind of a partial derivative, we're assuming that z depends on x, but that y is constant, that y is not changing. Right? When we do these partial derivatives, we're just looking on one slice. And we hold y constant. Okay. Uh, I'm confused. Every time you uh, derive something, Uh, that's the chain rule. Yeah, so you've got something like this, right? You've got the derivative of z squared with respect to x, and you break that up as the derivative of z squared with respect to z times the derivative of z with respect to x. Right? So that's kind of like single variable chain rule again. Once you chain together, Yes, yeah, and we do that because z is dependent on x. Yeah. 